Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just thought I would show a bit of a demonstration of how to tidy up brake drums. For a 20 year old car, these look fantastic. But believe me, on some cars, these really deteriorate. And obviously when you've got your wheel on, they look awful when you're looking through the wheel onto a big rusty dish, a bowl, you know? So first of all, remove the brake drum, as so. And just have a bit of carpet or something like that, like I've got here. And what you need to do is, when you're painting them together, I've already done this, just mark them. That's an L, left, and right. It's just, you don't want to be mixing up the brake drums. So these are very good examples. But, so, if you've got really bad ones, either A, consider changing them, if they're not too expensive, or B, what you want to be doing is um, getting a, like, like, a, like a power sander onto them to... I'm just busy getting some stuff here. Um, or get like a power sander onto them to sand down the main dirt. So first things first, we're just going to, you just need to get a bit of fine sandpaper. For these for this case, I just want to rough the surface up um, with them, just so the, the paint gets a better key. But if you, you know, like if, um, if they're very bad, you want a, like a more coarse sandpaper, but I'm just using a very fine wet and dry. So I'll, so I'll come back to you once I've done that. Right, so welcome back. I've just given them a, a gentle scrub down with uh, some fa fine sandpaper just to give them a good key. So next up, a bit of solvent. Get yourself some of this stuff, brake cleaner. It's fantastic. Obviously you want to clean the inside of this area before you fit them in case any contaminants get in. But you keep the brake discs, the drums, down like this. You do not want to be getting any paint inside of there or grease because that's your brake breaking surface area don't get anything in there so keep them flat like that so all we need to do is do them one at a time because this stuff dries pretty quick just cover the whole drum in brake cleaner give it a rub down this just gets off any grease or contaminants that may have obviously come into contact with it so I'll give that a good rub and there you go Hey. It's mainly just getting all of the like the, the rust and dust off what I've just created by sandpapering it down. Uh, so There we go. I should have really... So what I'll do is, you don't need to see us repeating that process. I'm just going to clean the other one down. Right, I've just put the phone on the tripod. Now we're going to paint them. Now, a, I hope I've got enough paint. And B, I hope it's going to go far enough. And C, I hope it doesn't get all over me phone. So first of all, you just start with a light covering. Just from a distance. Around the whole surface of the drum you know these are just bricks that don't have to be a work of art so you know even if you're not a very good painter which I don't claim to be don't go putting too much on to start with just keep it like, like that ideally you want a well ventilated area yeah, I've, I've got the roof uh, vents open in the garage here. Wear a mask. Remember the first coat like that? Yeah. As you can see there, they're looking better already, they look fantastic. That looks great. So just leave them to dry, give it an hour, come back and do another coat. Um, again, I've started this video and I haven't showed properly what we're using. I'm using Hamburg metal paint, it's satin black. As you can see there, it's eight year protection, so it's the kind of stuff that you want. All right. That's been the second coat. What I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to leave these over the weekend to dry and then I'm going to give them a third coat. And then what we'll do is, is we'll present them up to the car and I'll finish this, this video off next week. But like I was showing you, this is what you want to be using. Eight year protection, hammerite, director metal paint, satin black. It does look spot on for brake drums. And by the way, satin black is a, it's in between like a, like a, like a gloss finish and a matte finish. Uh, I personally think it looks perfect for brake drums. These look very shiny now, but when they're dry, they won't be like that. And it's very hard wearing. Just spend a bit extra. I think this was about a tenner. Um, if you use cheap paint, you're just going to be able to do the job again. And as I've demonstrated, this is my little show car. I want to keep it looking spot on. So, yeah, I'll come back on this video and finish it off next week. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just thought I would do a follow-on video to the brake drums. So as you can see now, they've been painted with 8-year protection hammerite. And that's obviously how they look. Now I've done about three coats. I've sanded them down as you've seen in the video and put them on. I, there's some protection going on on, on, the, on, the, on the flange, the wheel hub behind it. And I will be putting a little bit on this area before the wheel goes on. But the other side, I've already put the wheel on. And we'll have a little look. That's how it looks. Looks factory now. Obviously, the wheel tyres need spruced up a bit. But there you go. You see? That looks absolutely great now. Exactly how the car would have le left the factory. So it's a 100% factory look. So, I'll finish that video here. How to paint brake drums and tidy them up just for the price of a can of spray paint. So, if you... I'll just switch the camera around. Sorry. If you like that kind of content, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below and keep watching. Thank you. Bye.